everybody welcome back uh, to the channel thanks for coming on back i uh, really appreciate it good seeing you happy new year we're into a new year here on the start to continue youtube channel hope you hit the subscribe button hit the like button got so much so many exciting things planned for this new year it's gonna blow your socks off it is no uh, who knows i do want to say thank you thank you so much for coming by and uh giving this channel a little bit of your attention means a lot. I know everyone's time is taken up with so many things going on. No one has free time for anything, especially to sit through a YouTube video that's longer than 20 seconds. So I appreciate you guys coming by. What brings us here today? We have an unboxing. I know I'm a little late on this. It's been sitting around for a while. The Christmas and the New Year's. It's kind of hard to get these things out in time. I haven't even opened this yet. But I was super happy to get this before Christmas. Vault number 50 from Third Man Records. This is a big one. Maybe it's not so big uh, content wise. But it's a big momentous recording that they've gifted. Or given all the uh, Vault subscribers this time. What is the Vault? Third Man uh, Records. They have like a vinyl membership thing you can do. You uh, subscribe, and uh, quarterly they'll send you a nice vinyl package with lots of goodies and bonuses inside of it. I can get that at uh, Third Man Records, and uh, I re recommend it. I've been doing it for a long time. This package will be White Stripes. It's always something related to Jack White. Um, it's not always going to be specifically Jack White or the White Stripes, but it will be something good. And in that universe, so it's gonna be it's gonna be good. In fact, I can tell you a little bit of inside information on next package fifty one is gonna be a Carol King uh, concert. You didn't hear it from me. Just saying, I might have heard that. Anyways, let's open this up. This is uh, as you can see unopened. So this is an unboxing and first impression video if you haven't seen these before i'm not reviewing it outside of my initial impressions of looking at the physical you know how nice it is the collectability of it we're physical collectors so let's take a look inside and see what this is all about we've got a level when this works and it doesn't stop halfway through they have a new uh this is new a new uh new distributor for their uh, cardboard open it up like this uh, pizza box here everything is nicely inside very safe in here you know got the extra boundaries that dents aren't going to happen i like the way this comes let's see if i got room to put it down here it is the whole package is wrapped in bubble which is nice open it up so the first layer well I can see the DVD off the top but it also comes with the standard uh, description here which is always on a nice piece of kind of uh, parchment paper with this uh, ripped effect here this describes what is in the vault package number 50 live at Detroit Institute of Arts this uh, museum venue they appeared at there's a little write-up if you want to hit pause and this focuses you can read all about this there you go geez didn't want to didn't want to focus so this uh let's see here the time of this concert when it was booked the white stripes was like you know People heard about them, kinda, and then when the show came along, they were big as anything. So this uh, venue might have been overwhelmed a little bit by the amount of fans that stuffed inside of it. A museum setting. Some things might have got damaged in the museum by the, by the anxious fans. I don't know. We'll have to see what happened. Which we'll get to see. In the accompanying, uh, they threw in a DVD in here. So this is a pro shot DVD of the entire concert. Let's 
there's the venue, beautiful as anything. And a massive set list here, 33 songs I think it is on here. Of course, we'll get to the vinyl in a minute when we get to that. Uh, live at the Detroit Institute of Arts, filmed in the Riviera Court. Okay, yeah, so this is a DVD. This is probably, I'm going to open this up for you guys. One of my complaints about uh, these third man vault releases. Uh, yeah, everything's great, everything's good, but when they do include a movie, they do limit it to a DVD release. They're not going to pay the uh, whatever Blu-ray license fee there is to uh, access the Blu-ray format. So we're still a little old school on the DVD. So we're getting a maximum of 480p resolution on that. There's inside what the disc looks like. And there's the complete picture for the cover. So tiny gripe on that. It'd be nice to have a Blu-ray version. I think you guys can agree with me, right? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. DVD they can put out for free, but they have to pay a little bit of... Uh, a something something to Sony to get the Blu-ray licensing rights. So a lot of uh, music acts when they're putting out music on video don't bother with the Blu-ray. Here we go. We have a gatefold uh, vinyl here, two disker. And it's wrapped in... Uh, shrink wrap it's cellophane which sometimes these vault releases don't they don't bother with this it's all loose and the vinyl pieces are separate so nothing gets wrecked but i mean this is in in good shape survived the shipping quite well corners are good and unlike some previous releases from uh, the vault this was not shopped out to another pressing plant. This was pressed in Detroit at the uh, Cass Corridor Third Man Records storefront, which uh, I might have pictures of that somewhere because I toured it. Maybe I'll put a picture up if I can find it. Did I find it? I don't like removing the cellophane, but i uh, going to have to do it to look inside this thing. Let's get that going. All the images are apparently by a very important local photographer for uh, the best quality imagery in this package. There we go. Got kind of a nice matte finish, though the label's got a gloss to it. I'm kind of worried about leaving fingerprints. Something fell out. Something fell out of there. We'll get to that. I wonder if it was money. It's like a birthday card and money falls out. There's the complete set list. Uh, so two records. And yeah, they managed to fit like all 33 tracks on two records. <laughs> so they're whipping through those tracks pretty quickly. Okay, I'll open up the gatefold for you. Beautiful shot here of them appearing in the venue. Not lovely. I can't can't see what I'm showing you because my monitor is in a bad spot. Let's see what fell out. <sighs> Only on this channel does stuff like that happen. We have uh, looks like a 45 seven incher in a nice plastic sleeve. Let's take a look at that first while we're here. You know what this is? This is a uh, a single off Jack White's new album that's coming out. That's what this is. From upcoming long player album. So that was a little uh, pack-in that we weren't expecting. 
Yeah, nice bonus here. When we were uh, first giving the announcement of Vault 50, this was definitely not included. This is a nice bonus right here. I think these might be the tracks that were they did debut on uh, YouTube. So maybe I've heard these before, but yeah, that is cool. Let's take a look what it looks like inside. Inside here we got a uh, something. What's this? A card. I'll make sure there's no download code on here I'm going to accidentally give away. That would have been nice. Free download for the next album. You know that's going to get a nice vault release when that comes out. So no need to give away the code yet. Uh, it's the lyrics for the song. And doesn't want to focus. Anyways, you get it. That's cool. Got a jacket on here. Here's the record. And yeah, regular spindle on that 45. Tried to show them to you. Bear with me. You can always hit the hit the arrow button over on the cursor. You want to skip through this uh, quiet stuff as I'm trying to manipulate the camera. Okay, so that was a cool bonus. Thank you for that. We'll get to the album here. There is supposed to be a package of photos in here somewhere, unless what they meant was the photos used for the packaging. Because there's nothing left in here. That opens up to that beautiful picture. Meg from behind. Jack with a splash of color on him. Okay. So this comes out. This is side A. Opens up with little room. got kind of a, I don't know what you call this, exploding red swirl action. Gorgeous. You gotta love these because everyone has got a different fingerprint of red swirl. No one, no two are ever going to be alike. How does the vinyl look otherwise? Sometimes, you know, you get some scuffing. No, everything looks really good. Those tracks are so close together. Looks like a KTEL record. They were just plowing through the tracks that night. Uh, what do we see in the dead wax? Just the pressing code. And uh, something else here. One of these days, no, it just says Third Man Records, Third Man Records, Newt. Uh, Third Man Records. One of these days, I'm going to be smart and have a magnifying glass with me, ready to go. Or maybe I'll do some editing and do a little bit of post-production and take a photo and show you. That would involve effort. Okay, yeah, this side, there is an extra package in here, which is cool. Good. I didn't forget anything, so there are some photos there. We'll take a look at those. Might as well finish off the, the vinyl while we're here. This is good. I like it's got a nice thick spine on there. Everything fits. I'll lose my pictures. Here's the next album. We had red, so we gotta have white. Kind of a milky. 
you know it's got the swirl in there too yeah I, I've heard I don't know if this they're going for this name but this would be called like a coke bottle when you think that's probably a little too opaque for coke bottle it's still pretty nice looking marble very marbly very marbly and not a lot of dead wax space on this one that's for sure compared to the first album look at that practically goes right to the label so I don't have to work too hard to see if there's anything in there because there's not a lot of room and it's just the uh, pressing code it says G U Y T A N abbreviation for one of the songs I don't know you guys tell me in the comments do you guys even bother looking at what's in the dead wax? I, I do. It's fun. Because the vault, all the these pressings always have something interesting in the dead wax. They write some kind of note. Some kind of little joke. You know. Uh, and also included were these pack of photos from the event. Let's take a look. Overhead shot. Wow, what a beautiful venue. I wonder what the heck it sounded like in there. A lot of sound bouncing around. Whoop. There's your cover shot. This photographer like to get behind Meg. She should be worried. All right, so there it is. That's our package for uh, vault number 50. The big 50th vault release of uh, Third Man Records. The vault. Do I recommend it? Looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now the prices of the vault membership keep going up and up. You got to keep validating it with yourself if, if you want to spend that kind of money. But... Um, you can't you can't buy these in stores you know and if you're a physical collector like I like to collect it is kind of cool because you're there's not many of these going out for sure and you don't have to line up at some store three hours in advance to try and get it, it comes to you in the mail and I haven't had a problem yet with it well the one time I did their customer service was on top of things fixed it immediately so I'm still sticking with them. I'm looking forward to the next edition. That Carol King concert package is going to be pretty cool. And who knows what's coming up after that. Probably, well, when Jack releases that new album, that's going to get a special vault-only edition for sure, 100%. And uh, as well as being a member of the vault, you get access to uh, early access to concert ticket, venue information, that sort of thing. In fact, I do already have my tickets purchased for his Toronto show coming up if it happens who knows but uh, yeah so I, I'm going to see him in person vault member get the red carpet treatment no I, I don't know okay guys that I'm rambling on far too much don't forget we have the collectors live chat happens on this show uh, on this channel uh, every couple weeks don't forget the VHS show is also happening over at midnight is flashing YouTube channel subscribe to that and uh, Lots more music stuff happening. We're gonna get some fresh music up on this channel as well. I just unearthed well, The computer just started I unearthed now I don't know how much of this if I can get any of it up on YouTube, but I found some uh, my old archival videos from the beat club if you don't know what beat club is go look it up there's already tons on YouTube but there might be some hidden gems on here 
that haven't made it up on YouTube yet. So I hope to go through that. We're going to have some more Bob Dylan stuff on here, of course, and uh, lots more fun stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. That's it. We're done.